Now these days a handful of the most premium smartphones come with something called an eSIM squirreled away inside including the latest iPhones and Google handsets as well and that's a trend that you can definitely see continuing as we stroll away merrily into 2020 and so I thought I'd test out the eSIM service and see exactly what it's all about whether it's actually worth bothering with and this right here is everything you need to know. First up what the blum and flip actually is an eSIM. Well, if you've got a mobile phone, you'll have a SIM card stuffed away inside. These days, they're the size of a Nats chuff and they're incredibly fiddly to get in and out of those bloody little plastic tray things. Your SIM card basically just allows a mobile network to identify you and your device that you're using and therefore grant you access. So without a SIM card, you obviously can't get connected, you can't make calls, you can't use online data, things like that. Now, an eSIM does exactly the same job, but it's not a dinky little thing that you can pop out and stick into another smartphone. This time, it's actually a tiny chip that is properly embedded inside of your handset. You can't take it out at all, it's stuck in there for good, which sounds a little bit crap if you actually just wanna like change your mobile phone or anything like that, right? So in that case, what actually are the benefits of eSIM? Well, eSIMs are basically just designed to make life easier. So with an eSIM, you don't have to go into a high street store and negotiate with a surly, counter boy for the best possible deal. If you decide to go the online route, you don't have to wait around a few days for your SIM card to actually show up in the mail. All you need to do is go online, pick your plan, and then within a couple of minutes, you're basically done. And eSIMs can also give you greater flexibility as well. You can buy short time plans to suit your needs whenever you want them, and you can chop and change whenever you fancy it. And eSIMs will even work alongside existing physical SIMs, so you can have two plans at the same time. So for instance, one for work and one for personal, or one for your husband, and one for the hunky boy who clears out your gutters once a week. All sounds good, but which phones right now actually support eSIM? Well, a lot of Apple's latest gear comes with an eSIM stuffed inside, including the iPhone XS, the XS Max, and the XR. And the Apple Watch and the iPad Pro also have their own eSIM stuffed inside, so you can get them on their own individual data plan if you like. Meanwhile, Google's Pixel 3 and Pixel 3 XL flagships from last year also support eSIM, so it's a safe bet that the new iPhones and the Pixel handsets launching later in 2019 will follow suit. However, bear in mind that your smartphone will have to be completely unlocked for the eSIM to function. So for instance, if you bought your iPhone via EE, then it will be locked to the EE network. You won't be able to buy an eSIM contract online from a different company altogether. Okay, well, all well and good, but how do I actually get all up in that eSIM action? Well, if you've got a compatible handset already, then all you need to do is jump online, find an eSIM provider, and then pick a plan which works for you. One such company is the Toronto-based No Roman. Just head to their website and have a browse for something that suits. Their plans are split up by compatible regions with dozens of different countries supported, and you can generally choose either one or five gigs of data per plan. It's not exactly the biggest or best selection of plans, the choice is a bit limited overall, but that's pretty much the same for the rest of the eSIM world right now as well. Once you've picked a plan, just whip out your card and in return you'll get a QR code sent to you via email. Nice and easy and instant. To activate this QR code, all you need to do is get your phone, go into the settings and then go to the cellular or mobile data section and then click add data plan. Scan the QR code that you've been sent via email and then basically just follow the instructions to finish setting up your plan. You generally have to give the plan some kind of name to differentiate it from your existing SIM if you have one in there already. And then of course you just need to pick which SIM to actually use for your mobile data, your existing SIM if you've got one, or your eSIM, and then you're good to go. So I've been testing out my eSIM for over a week now here on the iPhone XR and it's been working nicely alongside my existing physical SIM as expected. I could still make and take calls, send messages, all that kind of shenanigans from my original physical SIM while also using the new eSIM for my data purposes. And at any point I can choose which to use for mobile data too, that physical SIM or the eSIM. It's just a case of heading into the mobile settings on my phone and then swapping the master. I was testing out one of the European data packages and during the testing period I travelled abroad to Berlin and I as you'd expect, it worked absolutely seamlessly, picked up a network as soon as I landed, and I had a strong data connection, good download speeds. Of course, it's not necessarily a cheaper option for Roman. Quite a lot of the big providers, Vodafone, EE, and so on, do offer a data plan for when you're abroad. Just pay a few quid and you get unlimited data all the time. However, that situation may well change in the near future when eSIMs are more prevalent. Here's hoping that you'll get a much greater selection of plans with a lot more flexibility built in. Sorry, right, there is everything you need to know right now about eSIMs, which smartphones phones are compatible and how to get all set up and get started with them. Of course, as I said before, expect a lot more handsets with eSIM functionality to hit UK stores in 2020. It'll be interesting to see how popular they are this time next year. And for more on the latest and greatest mobile tech, please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers everyone. Love you.